Hi, I'm Leo Rodriguez. I'm a software developer here at 352, and I'll be talking about sharing code across multiple projects using SVN externals. Uh, so first, let's define what SVN external is uh, for reference. An SVN external is a property of subversion that allows you to configure a repository as a composition of other repositories. Referencing the drawing here, I have a project one repository, and that repository is actually empty, but it is referring to three other repositories in my architecture. Uh, similarly, I have project two, also an empty repository, also referencing uh, one of the repositories in the architecture and uh, project two code repository. Uh, this project two repository is choosing not to bring over global admin components uh, from my pool of uh, external repositories. So as you can see in this manner, you can have any number of repositories down that would be then referencing any number of components that you choose to configure. OK, now that we know what a SVN external is, let's talk about some of the conditions that would apply uh, to make it appropriate for you to make a decision to go ahead and use them. Number one, your team currently uses Subversion. You're not coming from a clean slate with the ability to, say, explore options like TFS or Git. You're already using Subversion. You're familiar with it. So there's, there's pros there. Uh, you have the need to share a somewhat mature code base across multiple projects in your organization or for a particular client that is large enough that is spanning multiple projects. And third, you have a very good reason to stay with Subversion, whatever that may be. Uh, it could range from IT pushback to say that they don't want to install another system within the organization, at least not in the near future, uh, from uh, you preferring subversion over other systems, whatever your reason is. So if you meet that criteria, uh, then using sub, uh, SVN externals as a solution for sharing code across multiple projects uh, may be a good one for you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the setup. It's quite simple to do. Um, here is an example. Uh, let's say this is a uh, ASP.NET Web Forms website. Uh, you would have a typical uh, file structure. Uh, all of these uh, folders would be under the same repository. And you have uh, things are under your code. Uh, you have an admin tools area. I have a couple of components here as representations um, of a file manager and a, and a content manager, manager CMS. Uh, you also have your uh, code area uh, in your code, that's where your default.aspx files uh, would be. Um, things like Cascade in st style sheets, JavaScript, and so on. Uh, you may have also other things like documents and non-code um, artifacts in your repository. Uh, so what you do next is um, you set up a new repository structure. Uh, let's call that repository global, since we're trying to share resources across multiple projects. Um, We'll set up here a folder called All Empty Sites due to the fact that uh, the way I'm setting this up, my repositories are actually empty. I have a reference here to project one. Then I have my areas that I decided to extract out from the old repository structure. So I have the admin tools as a separate component that I may choose to bring over to a project or not, as we mentioned before. Uh, the code area that will probably be in every single project that uses this type of structure. And here are your miscellaneous documents and other artifacts. Uh, a, a new addition to the structure uh, is uh, a new folder we're calling a site to hold project specific code that will not be shared across all projects. Um, so what we're doing here is um, we're now splitting this out and placing repositioning the files in the new file structure. Um, so we would grab the uh, all components under the admin tools, for example, and create corresponding subfolders and place the files in the admin tools area. You would grab all of your, uh, uh, all other things under code that are not uh, worthy by your decision of being extracted out into a separate component area, uh, and we'll just simply place them under code. And your documents will go under documents. Um, anything from your code that could be extracted out to be uh, project specific, 
Uh, for example, you could, you could duplicate uh, CSS code to be both in the base, uh, but also when applied specifically to a website or a project, you would have styling to overwrite the base to give uh, um, a custom look and feel to, uh, to a website. Uh, so you grab some of these components and put them under a project one under the site. Okay, now we have the uh, new repository structure uh, defined. Next, you have to uh, set up SVN externals for your particular project. Uh, so project one under empty sites, um, and again, that repository is empty. The only thing you have to do is add SVN external properties to that particular repository. And uh, properties are pairs of information. They have the target uh, in your uh, file structure that will be checked out to, to a local machine, uh, and also specif a specification of where the source would be coming from. Uh, so in here, we're mimicking uh, exactly this uh, initial file structure. Uh, we say that going into the code folder under the admin tools file manager, uh, that particular information will come from now the global repository admin tools, probably forward slash here file manager as well. Uh, and similarly, your main code will come from, from the global code repository and your site specific code would go to code for slash site and come from the global site project one uh, specific repository. Um, you add those properties, uh, you commit them to the repository and then the result is next time you do a, a checkout of this uh, repository you have uh, the file structure exactly like this uh, with the addition of the new site folder and um, the, the beauty about it is you're going to have the same exact look and feel of developing in your old structure, but the source uh, code you modify will be now shared across multiple projects. Uh, so you have that benefit of code reusability. That's it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>